Hello viewers. Do you know that if your hardened concrete or mortar is having some minor cracks such as hairline cracks then you don't need to repair it because concrete or mortar has the ability to repair it by itself and that is known as autogenous healing of concrete. Isn't it sound interesting? My name is Surikant Padi and in this video we will discuss how this autogenous healing of concrete works. So let's get started. As we know when cement comes in contact with water then hydration process starts. And no matter how much you cure your concrete it is practically impossible to get 100% hydration of all of the cement grains present in concrete or mortar. Now TC Powers, a scientist, suggests that if you take cement grains and you grind it continuously for 5 days inside water, then complete hydration of cement grains is possible, which is practically impossible while on site. So, there will always be some unhydrated cement grains inside concrete and when this unhydrated cement grains comes in contact with water then again the hydration process starts. So to better explain you about this I will take the help of pen and paper. Now any hardened cement mortar or cement concrete as I told you earlier will having some hydrated cement grains and some unhydrated cement grains and when the concrete is having some minor fracture and it has access to water then when this unhydrated cement grains comes in contact with water then it gives rise to the formation of some calcium silicate hydrate nothing but CSA gel and this gel is responsible for uh, this gel acts as a bonding agent to uh, keep all the aggregates together along with some calcium hydroxide also the hydrated cement also having some calcium hydroxide because already the gels which which was earlier formed used for coating the aggregates and for uh, binding all of those aggregates and when these calcium hydroxides comes in contact with carbon dioxide then it gives rise to the formation of calcium carbonate and this carbon dioxide can present in water can present in air or can present in soil and when this calcium carbonate formed which is nothing but a type of limestone it is flaky in structure having flaky structure and most importantly this is insoluble in water insoluble in water so what happens if you have a fracture like this this, cal this calcium carbonate gets deposited over here thereby filling this crack also if the water is having some very minute particles or the concrete is buried under soil and that soil is some minor particles then also it helps in filling these cracks so this is the theory behind autogenous healing of concrete now one more thing you need to understand the reaction of this calcium hydroxide with carbon dioxide is known as carbonation of concrete So hopefully now you understand how autogenous healing of concrete happens. A. M. Nabile in his popular book Properties of Concrete suggests 
that the maximum width of crack that can be healed because of this autogenous properties of autogenous healing property of concrete varies from 0.1 mm to 0.2 mm and also he suggests that the more younger the concrete the more rapid is the process the more rapid is the autogenous healing process because the more in younger concrete there is a lot of unhydrated cement grains available and he also suggests that to heal 0.1 mm wide crack it may take several days where to heal a crack having 0.2 mm wide it may take several weeks provided you give favorable conditions now now very recently some research some scientists doing research using some bacteria as an admixture in concrete to enhance this autogenous healing properties of concrete where well, they found that using some bacteria this healing process can heal a crack having width of 2 mm now the point is if you are working in a water pipeline project where you use uh, rcc hume pipe or ms pipe a uh, coated with mortar on its outer surface and you bury that pipe inside soil and that pipe is having some crack then you don't need to worry about that cracks because of autogenous healing of concrete or autogenous healing property of mortar that crack can heal itself provided you periodically water that soil above that pipe so hopefully you find this video helpful thank you